What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today I'm unboxing and reviewing the fellow Monte Cappuccino Cups. So let's get this thing out of the box and get this show on the road. Now first things first, I want to compare it to my ride or die, my everyday cappuccino cup, the not neutral Lino. So both of these cups are going to be pretty similar. They have a very similar volume, both are going to be close to about 7 ounces, and inside both cups you will find what's called a parabolic slope. So that's designed to basically help you maintain contrast on the surface. I'll talk about that a little bit more, but both of these cups have those slopes inside them, and here's a diagram on the fellow box. So basically it shows you it's just a nice smooth slope with no like hard corners or edges. Basically it allows the milk to pierce the surface of your crema and not sit on top unless you want it to, and also it won't hit the bottom and bounce up and through your crema creating less contrast or just a generally not that attractive surface. So it's just a nice thing to have in most cups that are designed for latte art, like these and the not neutrals. So both cups have a very similar texture. They're both kind of a matte black feeling, but the Lino is really light compared to the Monty cup because of this base. So there's a stainless base on the bottom, which is a nice touch. No one's ever faulted Fellow for not having great aesthetic products. Really the only ugly thing that's come out of Fellow is the Prisma, which is just not that attractive of a piece. But this is a really nice looking piece. The base is cool, it feels nice in your hand, feels good to hold, has a nice weight to it, but this is the problem with that. So it collects fingerprints like a detective at a crime scene. It looks bad in a cafe, but at home, that's fine, no big deal. So the other benefit to a parabolic slope is a nice smooth extraction and then when I'm talking about extraction at this point I'm talking about as the espresso drops from your portafilter so you can do this trick with a bottomless or even with a spouted but the parabolic slope doesn't only help you with pouring latte art it also helps keep a nice clean surface when you're pulling your shot so no matter your portafilter preference whether you're bottomless or spouted as long as you set your cup in the right way where that sprout or the bottomless portafilter is dropping right on the nice smooth surface and it won't hit the bottom of the cup and splash back or create bubbles. It just has a nice smooth roll down into the base of the cup and it creates a nice clean surface for you to pour your latte art on and keeps the crema nice and intact. So I like the parabolic slope for that reason as well. So as you can see, there's a couple bubbles that has got those popped out right away and now I have just a nice clean surface for my latte art. So let's steam some milk and just try a more simple design to start with. And we're just gonna do a rippled heart. So we got our base in and there we go. Rippled heart in the books. It feels pretty good. The slope feels pretty much the same as the Lino cups that I use on a daily basis. So it's got that nice familiar feeling to it. But the biggest thing I'm gonna have to get used to is the depth of this cup just feels quite a bit deeper even though it's a pretty similar amount or volume, but it's just a taller cup. And so that's gonna require a few changes in the way I pour my latte art to get the same result. So let's pull another shot and try just a little more in depth or a little more advanced design. This time I'm gonna pour a Slozetta and I'm gonna show you one of the things that I'm having trouble with with this cup and talk about why it's an issue for me. From the start, you can see I just lose that bit of contrast in the base. And even though I'm using the same technique I would use with the Lino, that little bit of extra depth that this cup has compared to the not neutral caused me to lose that contrast. So what that means is it's gonna require an adjustment in speed and a little bit in pouring pace just to get that contrast to pop out and not have that washed out bottom base. But overall, those are just small things that you can fix over time. If these are gonna be your only cups, you'll definitely get used to it in no time whatsoever. In the end, these are great options for home or cafe. I mean, those fingerprints on the bottom are no big deal. I mean, in a cafe, who's really looking at the base anyway? So it's kind of a give or take there. I think these are probably some of the best handleless cups I've had. Even not neutrals handleless cups don't have enough insulation to keep that heat from soaking out and basically making it so you can't hold the cup for quite a while until your coffee cools. So these are great. The double wall just acts as a nice buffer from the heat of the coffee and they feel good in your hand. I can't deny, Fella knows what they're doing. They come out with some great products and this is no exception. 
A big thank you goes out to my Patreon supporters. They paid for this cup, and I'll be raffling it off to one of them this weekend. Shoutouts to Aiden, Bound Coffee, Claire, Jonathan, Nathan, Noel, Robert, Spookus, Samantha, Stephen, Thomas B., Thomas S., Tim, Lisa, and Mika, and of course, my barista tier folks. Thank you so much for being a Patreon. Information on that in the upper right-hand corner. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all that fun stuff. Tap that little red bell button for notifications on new videos posted every Friday. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.